any whiskey again. Come on. Yeah, man. Really? It's not that I'll enjoy a good IPA, but I wish there was a way you could have them both. Welcome back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd. And uh, this is an exciting collaboration today between two heavyweights, at least in here in the Baltimore area, because we are going to be spotlighting a very unique IPA today from a name that everyone has heard of and from a name that if you don't live in the Mid-Atlantic, you're about to hear. <laughs> That's true. So Everyone knows Jameson. It is the number one selling Irish whiskey in the world, and for good reason. It's a, it's a nice sipping whiskey. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with a little pour of Jameson. And if you live stateside, you probably know of Heavy Seas and their flagship, which is Loose Cannon. Today, we're going to see what the two of them together Ooh. taste like. Yes. So, Todd, tell us a little bit about this special project yeah. that Heavy Seas is involved with. So Heavy Seas partnered with Jameson, as Andy said, uh, sort of their cask program, where they're taking uh, breweries and allowing them to have their Jameson casks or barrels to put beer into. And normally when you think of barrel-aged beers, you're thinking of stouts. Well, this mm -hmm. is an IPA. Loose Cannon is the flagship beer of Heavy Seas. It's been around since 2003. It's the beer that put them on the map. It's their American IPA, 7.5%. Really great IPA. I mean, it's it's one of the OGs, so to speak. Yes, it is. Say. Yes, it is. Um, and, and we love the beer. I'm really interested to see how the barrel aging process works on this. You know, you don't think of IPAs. No, you don't. Now, this isn't their first experiment with this. Right. Um, they have, like Todd said, done this with other breweries. I think they're pitching, picking about yeah. 13 yeah, to, to do this like with. But they also have Jameson that's been aged in IPA barrels and Jameson aged in stout barrels. So this isn't their first right. foray in this collaboration no. between beer and whiskey. And as you know, it can be a nice little collaboration. Now we stateside tend to think of, like you said, the Stouts, yeah. the bourbon counties, yeah. where you've got KBS, the, you know, yeah. the KBS, where you have that big, bold bourbon flavor and that Stout, they play nice together. This is a little bit different. A, we're dealing with an IPA. Yeah. You and B, think. we're dealing with an Irish whiskey. Yeah. Irish whiskey is not like bourbon. Mm -hmm. Uh, bourbon's going to give you a much sweeter, bolder, oakier flavor. It comes from those new charred oak barrels that mm -hmm. they use. Jameson is a little bit different. It's in used whiskey barrels. So number one, you're not mm -hmm. going to get quite as much that oak flavor imparted onto it. Mm -hmm. It's also triple distilled, so it's going to cut down mm -hmm. a lot of that harshness and let some of those subtle flavors like those pit of fruits kind of come there through. So it's not going to overpower an IPA the way a bourbon probably could yeah. or a rye. So I'm kind of excited to see yeah. how this plays That's together. Let's hope it works well. Yeah. We're Not so to excited. mention, Loose Cannon also, we think of today these big hot in your face hot bombs. Loose Cannon's got more of a malt backbone oh, than yeah. a lot of these other IPAs. So again, that balance I think is yeah. going to well play balanced. nice with the whiskey. Uh, yeah, that, the, the Loose so, Cannon's known for how balanced it is yeah. with the hops, the malt characters. It's you just, pull that out the, there. Oh, he's pulling out the real stuff there. So uh, let's get into it. The beer's here. We've poured it. It, it yeah, looks like Loose Cannon. Yeah. Let's see if it smells and tastes like it. All right. Ooh. So <laughs> interesting note on it. It smells delicious. It doesn't smell like loose cannon, obviously. Well, you still get some of that. You do, but, of, I'm, but I'm really getting a little more of the... It smells very sweet. To yes, me. It's, a little, it's a lot softer than a typical yeah. loose cannon smell. You know, I was expecting when you take, you know, you smell those, again, going back to bourbon barrels, it's such that the aroma of those yeah. in-your-face bourbon. You're not getting in your face yeah. whiskey. And if you even take a little sip of the jam first, yeah. just take a little, little, little sip there. You can tell it's not. Yeah. It's not going to knock you uh, over the top like a beautiful smell. It really, it's a, the aroma is amazing on this. We're going to smell long already. It's the winner. Good. All right, cheers. Here we go. Loose Cannon and Jameson barrels. A 
Okay. I get it on the back end. The finish of the Jameson. It's, it's nowhere near overpowering like you would think of yeah. a, bur- a barrel-aged beer. Yeah. It's very, very subtle. Very subtle. Which I kind of like. It's almost like taking uh, a loose cannon yep. and pulling out the hot bittering yeah. notes that I mean is that does that sound right to you the hot uh-huh. presence that you expect from a traditional IPA uh-huh. it's pulling them away and the finish does not linger like it does nope. on a which actually falls right in line with Jameson Jameson is not something that's very complex in that aspect so no. it's a it's you get the flavors up front and then it dissipates oh. quickly this beer kind of is in the same vein. It does. You mentioned earlier with the Jameson. Um, I don't know as much about the flavor profiles, but you mentioned sort of the buttery, sort of the uh, the pitted fruits. Like an apple pear it's, type. And that goes really well, I think, with the, the, the loose cannon and, the, and the, you know, the hops they're using, the Centennial, the Simcoe, the Palisade, Citra. Mm-hmm. All those are in that beer. It's really well done. I mean, it, it's, it's it continues to be balanced. Yeah, I was expecting fun. this to be overplayed. And, and you, you taste the whiskey. That's it not almost the makes the malt a little more... Oh, God, it smells amazing. Probably, yeah. Doesn't it? Yes. It, it brings yeah. out the maltiness that we talked about in the... Mm. This is a real... And it's an easy mm. sipping beer can, compared to... It's 9% alcohol. Well, and actually, I think it drinks smoother than a traditional loose can. 100% does. Yeah, which is, which is amazing to be able to pull Whoa. that out. This um, is really unique. I, and, you know, everybody who's out there is thinking... I, I've heard people say, oh, you can't put an IPA, you can't barrel age it. Well, this proves that that's wrong. Um, you well, get the right beer, you get the right pairing. Yeah, you you know, don't. I don't know how long it's been aged in the barrels. Again, they have used barrels. And then they blend the whiskeys to mm. make Jameson. And they use bourbon barrels and they use um, sherry barrels. Okay. So, you, again, you get that additional sweetness. Everything gets kind of muted. This is intended to be an easy sipper. Yeah. Right? Like the big bourbons that we see collaborating with the, uh-huh. the stouts. And this is what this is. This is an easy sipping beer. Like this collaboration is really nice. You take a big IPA and you mix it with kind of a softer whiskey, and the two really play. I'm That's impressed fantastic. by this. this I am is too. Really good. I was expecting something different. I was too. Totally different. And, was... and I'm pleasantly surprised that it actually it stays true to Lewis Canham. Mm-hmm. And I think the Jameson really uh, complements it well. I think so too. Um, in a way that I wasn't expecting. So that's that's really good. It keeps the loose cannon characteristics. But almost softens it out a little bit, which is crazy. Which is it was really, not I, what I, I would think. I was expecting quite the opposite. Right. Expecting um, more in your face kind yeah. of uh, that aroma. whiskey. Oh. And, yeah, this it smells beautiful. This beautiful. is a really, really pretty smell. So when can people get this, Andy? This is going to be available this Friday, and uh, limited release in cans. They've never done yes. this in cans before. Extremely so limited. If release. you can it's get either. your hands yeah. on them, I mean, this is worth a try. I'll tell you that right now. So three p.m. Yeah, three p.m. this Friday. Uh, at the Heavy Seas Brewery. There will be some of, in this in keg form at specific locations throughout the Maryland distribution area for Heavy Seas. So you might find this in a, in a, a certain place that has uh, Heavy Seas on draft, mm-hmm. but it's still very limited. If you want to get a hold of this, there's one four pack per customer. Yep. Get there at 3 p.m. because it's going to go quick. I can guarantee you. Want to do something fun? Yeah, let's do it. Uh oh. What are we doing here? Here. Uh oh. Pour a little loose cannon here. I want to. I want to taste this side by side with. Oh, with this. a little, a little vertical. A little Andy, vertical. I like the way you change things up on me. Yeah. You know, keeping me on my toes here. <laughs> well, there, there's the loose cannon. Let's script everything. Buddy. Well, there, let, let's take a look. So, Actually, you know what? It does change the the co- it, yeah. color of it. If you look at that, mm-hmm. great idea to do this. It's lighter. So there is the loose cannon. There is the with the Jameson. Now, <laughs> it's your closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> that nice kind of pale so, color right there. I like the aroma. So the hops go yep. through a lot more, obviously. Obviously, it makes sense. Can. But I actually enjoy the smell of this maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And actually, as this sets oh. and warms up a little bit, the whiskey yeah. smell comes through a little bit more yeah. now, which I like. Um, well, let's go. Let me go back really to the loose cannon. Mm-hmm. I'm going to taste it now. Cheers. No, buddy. All right. Oh. It's funny after drinking that now. That taste is definitely different. Yeah, it's a definitely different beer. One thing. I just, now I'm going to go right to this. Mm. Mm. It's it's so it, it just actually the mouthfeel a little bit is different to, you know, on it as well. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's a little softer. Um, and and uh, I think 
almost like a cream in your mouth. Yes. Just a touch 100%. more viscosity coming yep. out of this here yep. than you have right there. It definitely changes um, the beer. Certainly. It really does. And this is a, this is a great beer. And yeah. I, but I'll tell you right now, I <laughs> wish this were available all the time. Because this well, is... I'm going to probably go pick up a few of these. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. This is really, really Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Um, really really awesome idea. collaboration. Great idea. So again, if you're in the area... Get over and look, there's 13 breweries to be selected by Jameson to do this is pretty special because yes. everyone knows Jameson. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't know Heavy Seas, like we said earlier, get to know them now. They really are a fantastic <laughs> yeah. brewery. They do some wonderful things over there. We're not just saying that because we're biased and from Baltimore. No. They're a really, really good brewery. And one of the originals that came out. You got it. Yeah. and kind of helped put this craft movement yeah. on the map. Yeah. But I'll tell you. Yeah. Fantastic. So, well, we got to get over there on Friday and eat some more, I guess, huh? We will. We'll Come join us yeah. Friday. Come check out uh, the, the can release of the Jameson Loose. Heavy Seas Loose Cannon IPA. This collaboration is awesome. Will not last long, but uh, you saw it here first. That's right. All right. So, if you like what you see from 21090, as always, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell in the corner. Gonna let you know every time we got a new video. There you go. We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter. We are going to put this on Untapped and give it a nice mm. score, oh, I yeah. believe, because this is really good. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned. Lots of good stuff coming up from us here at Two Ten Ninety. So if you can find it, get it. And whether you're drinking whiskey, you're drinking <laughs> beer, enjoy. Cheers. We'll put them together. <laughs> why not? Why not? Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Dude, that's really good. It's amazing.